Over in the wolf enclosure, camera traps have caught the first sight of Aliska and Django moving their pups. Heavy rain flooded their outside underground den. Luckily, the team always offer a safe alternative inside, and that's just where these anxious parents have headed. It allowed Caleb his first chance to count the pups and check how the new parents are coping. Aliska's moved the pups to the house, which is very exciting. So in the morning we found that there was uh, potentially five or six pups in the house. Aliska was in the den nursing them. Django was around the house, which is good because we wanted him to be, you know, play an active role in parenting, especially as they get a bit older. Um, so everything was looking good yesterday morning. We checked them around lunchtime, um, and Django had actually moved one of the pups from being in the den nest box area to being just outside the den, um, which is obviously not ideal because we want Aliska to sort of have responsibility for nursing the pups. As they grow, pups are cared for by all members of the pack. But in the first three weeks, it's the mother who stays with them. The alpha male usually hunts for food, but new dad Django might be overstepping his role. Good morning. Are you alright, the little ones? Are you okay, the little ones? Django is interfering with how Aliska wants to mother her pups at a time when regular feeding is crucial. It's leading to conflict between the new parents. It wouldn't surprise me if Aliska's, after yesterday, might be trying to move them around anyway. So, um, But at the moment, the early signs are good. Django and Aliska look really fit and healthy. Um, I can see four pups still looking really healthy, so um, everything seems to be okay as well. Aliska and Django have another squabble. The worry is the pups could get caught in the crossfire. More of the precious pups a little later, as the keepers decide whether they'll intervene or let the new parents figure things out themselves.